morning, everybody. It's Brooke from Intelligent Concrete. And in our last video, we showed you how to do compressive strength testing for concrete C39. And today we're just gonna walk through um, how we can use that data to turn it into um, something that you can apply to the field. Before you break the cylinder, you'll take two measurements of the diameter, one across each way here. And so that gives us diameter one, diameter two, and we need to find the average of that. So we are gonna do 4.01 plus the 3.99, divide that by two to find the average of 4.00 inches. And then for our area um, equation, we're gonna need to get the radius. So to find the radius from the diameter, all we do is just divide that in half. So we're gonna take our 4.00, divide by two gives us two. So our radius will be 2.00 inches. And now we can apply this um, equation for area and that's simply pi times radius squared. So we have pi r is zero zero squared, which gives us 12.57. Inches squared. So now that we have our area, we can now apply um, this equation of max force, uh, which is our load in pounds divided by our area. And again, that's P over A pounds over area. So 50,000 was our max load here. 50,000 pounds, and we're going to divide that by our area of 12.57 inches squared. And 50,000 divided by the 12.57 inches squared gives us 3,977 PSI. 0.7? Oh, 0.7. You said to the tenth. So it's actually, to, we're gonna round it up to the nearest ten. So that is that. If you have any questions um, or comments, please feel free to chat us up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Go, 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 go,